Save your excuses for some other naive girl. I'm done with you. Have a nice life, detective. <sighs> I'm so conflicted. Do I feel happy or sad about this? Damn. What the hell just happened? I'm assuming these are pretty linear. Yeah, so that was the only way that could have gone? Maybe going to the taxi would have brought us to that poster anyway. Oh no, though. Oh no. Oh, we probably gotta text Amane-san ourselves. Oh, I should have probably texted Nanami first just now. Hey. How have you been? No response. I know she suggested that we stay away from each other, but I'll try contacting her again later. Ooh, okay, so Sana and Tsukino are more typical dates. Yeah, the girl just likes me and we get together and all, but Amane and Nanami, there's like an actual conflict and all. That's... that's insane. I need to apologize to her right away. Nanami-san, I'm sorry about today. Of course she wouldn't answer. Amane-san, how's everything lately? I'm such a scumbag, how do I live with myself? Really? She still won't talk to me? Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know what to do. There's a girl here looking for me. Konnichiwa. Woman with a Kansai dialect. Pardon me, sir, but you look awful tired. I recommend a full body de stress package pronto. Mm -hmm. Are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you! I was thinking I could come over to your place sometime and ease those throbbing muscles. Oh. Mm. Yeah, so I'm not really interested in that kind of massage. I'll pass. Shoto. What the heck? I never said I was gonna do anything weird. I'm a mobile massage therapist, for crying out loud. Oh, whoops. You're darn right, whoops! Are there no actual health professionals here in Kamurocho? No. <laughs> The only doctor we have is under the sewers! <laughs> anyway, the name's Sakura Amamiya, and I fixed busted backs and broken hearts from Sotenbori all the way to Tokyo. Mm. Broken hearts, huh? You're sounding awfully scammy right now, lady, but also very relevant to me. Come on, that's just part of my bit. You'll understand once you have your first session. Right now, I'm offering my services for the very low price of 3,000 yen an hour. My hands are pure magic, or so I'm told. Uh... Yeah, now I'm even more skeptical. Stop being a weirdo and just try it out. Or at least take my contact info. Whoa, this is a long friend event. We can call her from the office, or to the office. Okay, cool, I guess. I don't really think I... <laughs> Do I need Barker services? I don't think so. Okay, uh, what I think we can do is... Well, first of all, can we text? Oh, no, 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 it's you! Frick, I don't want to... <laughs> I guess we could text you. Wait, this would be a bad time to call her. Better wait till I'm alone in the office. What about Amane and Tsuki? Or... Oh, Yuko, Yuko! I should report to Yuko-san what happened. This is bad, Yuko-san. Nanami-san found out. Why did you use the exact same disguise as your show? What did she find out? That we totally set her up. That it was you in disguise. Everything. She should be mad at you too. What? Why? I was perfectly in character. There was a poster for a theater production you're appearing in. Nanami-san saw that. Even the guy. The guy was on the poster, too. Ah, no! She's coming up with a long plan. Oh my god. Ah, I'm so sorry! It's totally my mistake! I didn't think that poster would be in Kamurocho at all! You see, there was an injury during rehearsal and the show was put on hiatus. I thought all the posters were collected, you know? I'm so sorry! No, it's my fault too. I'm the one that agreed to all this. Don't worry, 
I'll explain it all to Nanami and tell her it was all my doing. Okay, I hope so. Um, I was thinking we can go find the lockpick guy. Because I want to pay my rent and all, right? So I sh really should be trying to <laughs> do some lockpicking here. Okay, Koizuka-san, I made it. <laughs> like five chapters later. Excellent. I already have some jobs lined up for you. You don't say. Pick whichever one you like. We'll do. Well, freaking, freaking pick the expensive one. Two thousand yen, really? I'll send the client's location to the map on your phone. So head to where the key icon is. You'll get paid when the job is done, so make sure to report back to me. Got it. Do you mind giving me all the stuff at the same time? No, of course you wouldn't. Okay. Oh, it's freaking right here. That's close. You're the locksmith, right? I need this open right away. Mm. Let's see. I am the locksmith indeed. Not a very good one though, yes. apparently. It's very precise. There you go. Ah, there we go. Thanks for that. No sweat. Take care now. Report back. Okay, this one's pretty easy. No lengthy conversation. All we gotta do is do some lockpicking. Might be good to get it out of the way just so Tomioka-san's happy with me. Looks like it went smoothie, Yagami-kun. I got a call from the client just now. I managed to do it somehow. Well, here's your payment for today. Thank you. You're pretty good at what you do. I'll be counting on you again. Like right now? Just keep getting the 6,000 yen ones. At least we're getting some money here. This one, unfortunately, isn't us close by. It's all the way over here. Game Center Charles. Charles? Okay. Oh, in the back alley of Charles. Oh, good. You must be the locksmith. Please, can you get this open? Mm. Let's see. Was this the back alley where we fought the gambling detective guy back in the prologue? I think so. Wires. I have five left, so I should be okay. Oh my gosh. Yes. These ones are a little bit more annoying, and this one might be the most difficult of this kind of done. Usually we just have to turn once, right? Is this really how easy lockpicking is? I have a lock. A yes. combination lock? That I forgot the combination to for... Maybe 10 yes. years? <laughs> I still kept it around, thinking that maybe someday I'll be able to open it, but so far no luck. <laughs> Perfect! The wire is still fine, too. You're so talented. Thank you. No sweat. Take care now. Okay. Do the girls wanna... text me? Nanami. I wonder if Yuko-san contacted Nanami-san after all. I should send her a message, just in case. You might have heard from Yuko-san, but I'm the one that agreed to her plan, so I'm the one at fault. Nothing. I should contact Yuko-san. It's no use, I'm not getting anything from her. Neither am I. I suppose we'll have to wait this one out. I think you're right. Oh, you hurt her so deeply. This is... Just when you guys were getting along so well too. Maybe Nanami-san will want to talk now? Now you're just being the annoying creeper. I want to apologize about before. Can you meet tonight? I'll be waiting at the usual place at Theater Square. I'd really like it if you came. Really? Is that really a thing? It is. Well. Well, I guess we'll uh, go back to the locksmith first and we'll go head over to Theater Square. 
honestly, just from what we've seen, I don't think Yagami should get with her. <laughs> she needs to- she deserves a better man. Or woman, or whatever she likes. She deserves a better person than me. Period. Like, ugh. I feel bad. I'm the source of her problems! I'm the source of my digital girlfriend's problems. What do I do? Looks like it went smoothly, Yagami Gun. Got a call. Da -da -da. All right, cool. I'll just grab the next one, so we can do it whenever we want. Lock picking. Tetsuro Murasaka. Okay, and where is that? It's here. This is next to Wild Jackson. Yeah, it's kind of along the way to Theater Square anyway. Oh, this one was a lot more easier than I thought it would be, because it purely is just a lockpicking thing. Although I wish we could- oh, it's easier to go here. I wish we could accept all of them at the same time, just to minimize some traveling here. But of course they're not gonna do that for you because they gotta- They gotta make sure you- What? I don't wanna play Shogi, bye! <laughs> Go away, please. Oh, it's you. Alright. This one's easier. Okay. I'll go back whenever I'm in the area. But for now... I feel like no one's bothered me for such a long time. Like, I mean, Yakuza? I'm not asking them to bother me, I'm just wondering what's going on. Maybe they know I'm heartbroken right now from both Amane and Tsukino. <laughs> Nanami, Nanami. And yeah, they're cutting me some slack because they feel bad for me. Yagami-san, big trouble, huge trouble. What's going on? Why are you panicking? Something really, really bad is happening. Can you calm down and tell me what's going on? It's about Nanami! Freaking tell me! Nanami-san, what's happening? A strange man is trying to take her somewhere! What? I contacted the police, but they didn't come in time! Could it be the stalker that tried to kidnap Nanami-san before? But I thought he was arrested. I don't know. It's a man I've never seen. The police won't even listen to me. Where was it? Tenkaiji Alley, in the alleyway behind Jungle Boy. Please, come quickly. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> no. She's gone. Shit. Was I too late? Even the police was too late. Yagami-san? Yagami uh, what? Oh, ah, you go. What? <sighs> What's going on? Nanami-san, quick! Where is the attacker? <gasps> what do you mean? Weren't you the one being attacked? I heard you were injured and couldn't even move. <gasps> huh? You did call the cops, didn't you? No. There must be some mistake. I heard you were being kidnapped. That's why I came running for you. Eh? What? Ah. Uh, Yuko. Yuko's full of these tricks. Wait a minute. Masaka. Don't tell me. Did Yuko trick us both? No. Oh, that girl. I can't believe she did this again. Wait just a moment. Please. I wanted to apologize to you, face to face. I'm sorry for what I did. Honestly, I don't even care anymore. Are you sure? Because I don't want our relationship to end this way. Then let me ask you something. Why would you betray my trust like that? I poured out my heart to you! Gave you the one chance I'd never given anyone else, and what did you do? Well, I... 
Well, to be fair, like you were super busy and that was a way for me to meet you. It wasn't really... We didn't... We weren't that close before we met. You played it off like it was one of your little side cases. I know. And I apologize. Stop apologizing and just tell me what you're really after. Okay. I shouldn't be hesitating here, but this does make me hesitate. Uh, I feel like we're... Nanami can find a better person. <laughs> really. What I'm really after is you, Nanami-san. What? All I've ever wanted to do was to get to know you better, to have a good time together, and share some beautiful memories. That's the only reason I did such an idiotic thing. This isn't another trick you're playing on me, is it? Of course not. Please believe me when I say I'm telling the truth. But... How can I? After all that's happened... I'm sorry. I need time to sort things out. If you walk away from here, I'm assuming this is the last time we'll see each other. Right? <sighs> Maybe it will be the last time we see each other. I can't really say for sure. Then... What can I do to change your mind? How about letting go of me, for starters? Just let me ask you one last thing. What? How do you really feel about me, Nanami-san? You said you weren't interested in romance, but we still managed to hit it off really smooth. It even got to the point where we went out drinking. No investigations, no pretenses, just the two of us having a good time. And it looked like you were happy whenever we were together. I know I felt that way about you. You really want to know how I feel? I feel like heading to the office. My job might break my spirit sometimes, but at least it doesn't break my heart. I see. Then I guess it's truly goodbye. Sayonara. Yeah, I guess it is. Huh? Yuko... Are you sure you're okay with this, Nanami? Letting it end on such a sour note? You keep stuffing away your emotions and burying yourself in work in an attempt to block out the rest of the world. Didn't you tell me you were gonna make the next move when Yagami-san invited you out? Are you sure you don't need to tell him what you felt back then? You'll never change at this rate. I can see you becoming a better old lady, dragging her past around wherever she goes. Is that really how you want to end up? Because good guys like Yagami-san don't come around very often, you know? I kind of feel like we're pressuring her into this a little bit. <sighs> Fine. Yagami-san, there is one thing I need to communicate to you. What's that? Huh? Brace yourself! Oh! Ow! Eh? Oh my! W what was that for? <laughs> you know well what that was for! どれだけ傷ついたと思ってるんですか。男なんていつだってそう。こっちの気持ちを踏みにじって好き放題して。こっちの気持ちも知らないで。<笑><笑>
あなたのことが好きだからこんなに傷ついてるのわかるでしょだから私のことが好きだって言うなら責任を取ってください責任を取ってそれでもう二度と嘘をつかないって誓ってくださいAre you gonna be honest with me from now on? I, I shouldn't be hesitating, but a part of me. <laughs> of course. I promise not to keep anything between us. After all, we love each other, don't we? Yeah. And I can see how sincere you are. But if you betray me again, you'll be getting much worse than a slap. Don't worry, I'll make sure that won't ever happen. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Nanami! Um. Oh, I'm sorry! I'll leave you to lovebirds alone. Enjoy! Oh, Yuko. Wow, Yuko. Guess she saved all the drama for the final act. Kind of her fault that we got into the situation to begin with. Yagami san. Well, Yagami san, I know we've been through a lot. And now, I want to start fresh. How about we just go by our first names? Oh my god, it's literally the same freaking stick! Sure. I think that's a good way to do it. Alright then. Takayuki san. Takayuki? <laughs> It's nice to be so open with one another, right, Nanami? This one didn't work as well because I wasn't really calling her Matsuoka san before or anything like that. We just dropped the um, san? Hmm, I think it sounds more natural to call each other like this. Haha, <laughs> very fun. <sighs> I feel so bad. We've come too far to let go, okay? Sunk cost fallacy. Well, I'll be seeing you, Takayuki. Don't forget to message me, okay? <laughs> I won't forget. Taking responsibility, huh? I think I can handle that. I definitely won't be leading you on anymore with goose chases, that's for sure. Oh, that was so painful. Painful, painful. How can people stand to cheat? Oh my goodness. Like, how can you not be feeling a sense of immense guilt every time you're doing something like that? Oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Although, from like a technical perspective, that was probably the most interesting girlfriend we've had so far because drama and the. Resolution and the, you know, all that. But it felt kind of off. Oh. Because I kind of get the feeling they wanted to make some Tsundere kind of thing going on. But then it didn't really work out like that because we hurt her so badly. Thanks, Tashiro kun. Can we say hi? I think, uh,. Oh, by the way, I gotta try it again later on, but I think whenever we fight Yakuza... <laughs> I only realized this towards the end here in chapter 13. But you can... you can, um... what do you call that? Taunt. Yes, you can taunt people in the middle of a battle. So we'll try that next time. Oh, do you not want to talk? Okay, I guess not. Oh, were you the guy who wanted, like, a... a quick starter thing from me? Don't even remember. Artisanal show he said. I don't have money. 
Oh, was this the one that he wanted? This is, uh, you know, I actually don't have that much money now. 300,000 is not that much. <laughs> no, thank you. So this is... Uh, apple pie. By the way, can we go talk to Madoka ourselves, or do we always just have to bring people here? I'm a little bit drunk right now, though. Excuse me, is Madoka chan here? Ah, oh, you're the gentleman from before. Yes, she's available. Great. Then I'd like to go with her, please. Hey, you came back! Uh. Of course. I could hardly finish my drinks last time. Then let's take it nice and slow today, hmm? It's nice to know that doing this will help put an honest person through school. Yes. Alright, these drinks are nothing to me. Nah. Pour me one of those asking drinks, Maruko-chan. Coming right up. This is right after Nanami confessed to me. I can tell this is top shelf. A taste that matches the price. Alright, hit me with one more. Coming right up. Will you really be okay? Your face is all red. <laughs> <laughs> I can still keep going. A drink, if you please. Hi. Oh, we might not be able to finish this because I started off at two. The alcohol level? Ugh, no more. Oh my. Looks like we overdid it, huh? I'll come back when I'm not already stumbling drunk. Oh, that took some money. Gosh dang. Right, so that was a bit of a waste because... We needed to come here when we were fully sober. Dang. Oh well, whatever I guess. At least we're helping her with her tuition and all. Okay. Uh, can we text Amane? <laughs> Yeah. Amane-san? She hasn't even read my previous message. Is everything okay? Damn, she's really walled herself off. I can't believe we finished Nanami's before Amane is, actually. That's crazy. Um... I want to do this one last side case here before we end off and just go to the ending of the game. But of course, I'm also waiting for Amane here. So I'm thinking maybe we can go back to the office and get my massage. Just to see what that's like. There is so much side content in this whole thing, it's crazy. Oh, what about the Cafe Mijore? Frick, man, you guys need to just start dating or something. I'm too drunk to have coffee right now, though. Miharu-chan! Oh, welcome back, Yagami-san. Yo. Hey there, Miharu-chan. Ready to be seated? Please follow me. Oh yeah, how's it going with that co-worker you mentioned that one time? Mm. It's going, I guess. We do talk whenever we're on the same shift. <sighs> but nothing's moved beyond that, huh? No, but at least we have fun talking. He seems genuinely interested in me, and says some pretty funny stuff. Okay. Have you guys, like, gone out anywhere? Mm. Nope, not yet. I see, I see. So, if he was to ask you out, let's say, what would be your ideal time together? Mm. You mean on a date? Mm, I guess a normal one would be fine. Define normal. Mm. Okay, how about going to look at dolphins at the aquarium? Oh, how come we can't do that? That sounds like an awesome date. Ooh. You like dolphins, huh? They are cute. Aren't they? They have these sparkly little eyes and adorable little flippers. Ah, I could just die from the cuteness. <laughs> I feel like at this rate, Miharu-chan's gonna like me instead. <laughs> Sounds like someone really likes our marine mammals. Ah, all I'm trying to say is that it'd be nice to go to an aquarium with a guy I really like, dolphins or not. Well, I have a funny feeling you'll be able to very soon. Call me psychic or whatever. <laughs> You're joking, right? Don't say such random things. <laughs> nah, totally serious. Honestly? I hope your prediction comes true, Yagami-san. Thanks for the meal, Miharu-chan. See you. 
ありがとうございました。Thank you for coming, Yagami san. Well, it's gonna be a long, long. We're basically being the Yuko to Miharu and Norimoto here. And we all know how that turned out. <laughs> Not very well. Not at all. Is there someone on this side here? Is it. Oh, Kim actually wants to be my friend now? Welcome to Beef Zone. Get ready. Huh, ready as always. How's business these days, Kim san? Kim won soon. Well, to be honest, it's a little rough. A lot of customers have gone over to Kanai, our main competitor. Well, Kanai is pretty popular. Can you think of anything that would help us stay competitive? Not sure if I can just make it rain ideas, but I'll try. First off, what is Kanai really known for in the first place? Let's see. It's a high end restaurant, so it's probably more geared towards entertaining clients or fancy dates. And rather than making a big fancy menu, they stick to a small selection of only the choicest, choicest meats on the market. They don't seem to do anything unreputable as a business either. Gotcha. Was that information helpful at all? Yeah, let me think here. You are not in the same. Market segment as Kanai, right? Because you're not as high end and luxury, so you shouldn't drop prices, I don't think. You need to find your own niche. Maybe family specials? Why not make a family special? Large parties like families tend to rack up a higher bill, which equates to more profit. It's true that Kanai is a bit more on the luxury side, but it's also losing out on a big demographic by leaving out families. This could be your chance to corner the market. <laughs> wow, you really know your stuff. You sure you weren't a restaurant manager before? Feels like I've already said that. Will my amateur advice really make a difference in the long run? Guess I'll find out soon enough. <laughs> well, I did go to school for business, but not marketing. Although they did make us take a few marketing classes. Uh, if I want to get back to the agency. You know what? We can always go back to the agency whenever we want. Does Amani san want to freaking text me back yet? Amani san? Please, I just want to make sure nothing bad's happened to you. I've been worried. Oh, I guess I said the wrong one last time. Oh, a long typing session, followed by one word. Sorry. Amane san! Are you okay? Can we talk now? <laughs> Very well. Meet me at the usual spot then? The bowling place by Theater Square? I'm glad that I at least got something out of her. Hopefully she shows up. Hmm. Let's do the last side case here. Last side case for my reputation level, I should say. And then we'll get back to Amane. Oh, here we go, a fight. See, look at this. We can taunt people. <laughs> and now we can do this. And all of our alcohol levels are gone. The Shiro-kun seems like he's the only one consistently helping me out here. He's really putting in the work. Come on, buddies. There's two big guys here. Gotta be fast if we don't want to get caught. Ow! I almost want Ryan here just because he has the stun bombs, which I feel like would make everything a lot easier. Ow! 
Maybe I should go eat after this. Can I make it through this one without eating though? I'm not quite sure just yet. The Shinokun! Fight the other guy. The other one. Ooh. Yikes. So I'm not sure what the taunting does though. Does it just make it so people are angrier or maybe I get higher attack from that? Not sure on the details. Oh, I passed it. I was trying to go to Kanrai for the last side case here. What is this one anyway? We don't know. Hello? Oh, 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 oh! I still walk like I'm drunk. Yeah. Uniformed man. Oh, right now? No, it's no problem at all. Honey, who are you talking to? How long are you gonna be on the phone? Don't worry, sweetie. I'll just be a second. Oh, more cheating stories. Uh, no, Captain. Oh, haha! <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Oh, no, Captain. I wasn't calling you sweetie. No, that was me projecting. It's not a cheating story here. <laughs> I mean, yes, of course I'm at home. I was talking to my cat. I'll head over right away. How dare you spend your wife's birthday on the phone? <gasps> oh, waiter! Another glass of the good stuff and make it snappy! Uh, no! That's not the voice of a drunk woman! The TV is on! And it's loud! I'm totally at home right now! Oh, I make it a point to not get too close to drunks, and that lady is plastered. Which means we gotta get close to her, right? <laughs> Hey, you! Mm -hmm. Huh? Me? Yes, you with a dumb face. Come here and take a load off. What? Why would I... I said, have a seat. How long are you gonna make me drink alone? But I'm... Next thing you know, I'm sitting down. Don't keep your wife waiting on her birthday. <laughs> Shit. This is what I get for thinking about keeping my distance. How many has she had anyway? I know. Okay. Did you need anything? Do I know you? Stop it with the nonsense! I'm your wife! And you don't keep your wife waiting on her birthday! My wife? That's me! I'm sweet, I'm petite, and I'm Naoko! Eh? But we're not mayor. How did she jump to the conclusion that I'm her husband? Hey! Sorry, I have to use the restroom real quick. Huh? Hold your horses, Tatsuro! She's so drunk she can't recognize her husband. Hey, man. Aren't you that drunk lady's husband? Yeah, sorry. I had to hide for a second. Nah. What the hell is going on? I'm just as shocked as you are, buddy. Looks like she thinks you're me. If she's so drunk, she can mistake me for her husband. That's a problem. Oh, I agree. She's both wasted and nearsighted. And that is a dangerous combination. She's got her makeup done to the nines and no glasses. So she's blind as a bat right now. Why is she drinking so heavily then? Well, you may have heard her ranting, but it's her birthday today. Thing is, my work keeps calling. So I've been on the phone this whole time. What are you? You're very uniformed, but are you like a train conductor or what? She's kind of pissed about it. Within reason, I guess. What do you do anyway? Like a Navy? Airplane pilot? Can't you tell from looking at me? I'm an aircraft pilot. Yeah, I noticed the little badge on your chest. My wife and I work for the same airline. Oh, so she should understand. Uh... Oh. I thought you might have been cosplaying. <laughs> so what does your airline want with you on your day off? And why are you wearing your uniform on your day off? It's not actually my day off. I'm on standby. Which means I'm supposed to be waiting at home. But now another pilot has called out sick and I have to go in. There's a plane full of people who need me. Right. 
And I take you're not supposed to go out to dinner while you're on standby? <sighs> nope. Not ever. Figures. But my wife's birthday slipped my mind. What else was I supposed to do? Uh... They let an irresponsible guy like this fly planes? Scary. Well, it sounds like you're gonna have to bite the bullet and tell your wife you're gonna go you're going into work. Yeah, she's getting pretty belligerent, huh? My travel schedule is bad enough, but if I break it to her that I forgot her birthday too, my marriage is over. I was trying to find a way out of this mess when you showed up. Not sure why you sat with her, but I'm glad you did. <laughs> no, 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 you go sit with her. I'll pretend to be the airplane pilot. <laughs> Your voice is the same register as mine. And if you were to wear my uniform... Mm. I don't like where this is going. Well, I'm going to ask anyway. Will you please take my place and have dinner with my wife? But what if she tries to kiss me? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Back it up. Any way you slice it, switching places with you is crazy. Would you prefer to fly a plane for me instead? Uh, yeah. Huh? Okay, that's next level stupid. Honey! Did you fall in? See? She's calling you. I'm sure you can handle a drunk woman until she passes out. If I wear your uniform, what are you gonna wear to work? Come on. Yes, come on. Let's just hurry up and exchange our contact info. <sighs> oh my god. Here. It's a cheat sheet. It's my profile and a few important details about me. You even had time to make this? And here. My license and a few other important knickknacks. Is this really necessary? <laughs> the devil is in the details in these situations, my friend. Okay, I'm gonna stop by my house to get the spare uniform, so you can have this one. Now give me the clean one, I don't want this one. But at least we can wear a uniform, we can do some cosplaying. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I would trust you to fly a plane just by looking at you. That's a bad call. Alright, I've gotta get to work, good luck. Wow. Eh? Huh? Whoa, wait. Honey! I can see you! Come have a seat! <laughs> Shit. This is really happening, isn't it? Worst birthday ever. Here goes. But I better study this cheat sheet real quick. Yeah. Uh, I want to eat at the Kanai place too, but maybe not right now. Case file? Here we go. A note from Tatsuro about his wife, written hastily on a receipt. It reads, Tatsuro Tanaka, 34, Naoko Tanaka, 33. 33 today? Or yesterday? Met in a yakiniku store right here. Mom's a nurse, sister's in England, dad's in heaven. Naoko's a bad drunk, no sake for her. Has a smelly fart. <laughs> okay. A bag with junk? Okay. Here goes nothing. She thought I was her husband even without the uniform anyway. Do we really need to do this? Um, hey, sweetie. Sorry I took so long. Mmm. 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 Now that I look closer. Uh oh. Is this over before it began? Have you gotten more handsome lately? Eh? Oh, you really think so? Ha 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 <laughs> So, who was that on the phone, honey? <laughs> oh, yes, that. That was, uh... My father is in heaven, right? It was my little brother. Oh, I don't have one! <laughs> Wait, who was in heaven? Was it my mom? Did I really have to say the captain though? Because I was thinking that I don't want to say that because that's the truth and we don't want to say the truth, right? Oh, I don't have a brother! Do I not? No, you don't. Not the one I've ever met. You feeling okay, honey? Sorry, I guess the uh, alcohol is getting to me. Well, pull yourself together. <gasps> Who's gonna take care of me if you're pickled too? Better give that cheat shit another look before I really screw something up. 
I can't look at it here, right? It was a captain. Hmm, the captain? He would call. Oh no. It was fine. He just, uh, butt dialed me. Is that so? Or could it have been that woman? Woman? What woman? Don't you play dumb with me. Whoa. I saw you. You were having a fun little shopping spree with a flight attendant yesterday. A real young piece of ass. Eh? <laughs> I was? Looks like this is a cheating story after all. You're a terrible husband. A terrible man. Wah! Whoa, what a deplorable man. Scum, I'd say. <laughs> I'm at dinner with a drunk woman who's not my wife. And I'm apparently cheating on her. Cool. Now, now, sweetie. Let's not make a scene. <laughs> I've made terrible life choices. <laughs> All men should be blasted to the moon. <laughs> At least she's calming down. They're having technical difficulties with the plane, so I'm off the hook, heading back now. Oh, thank God. I didn't know you could see her inside, cases. Huh? Yagami-kun? Mo you. Yagami-kun? Who is this? And what's with the outfit? Are you cosplaying as a pilot? Yagami-kun? This woman a friend of yours, honey? <gasps> huh? Honey? Yeah, about this. What business do you have with my husband? You another one of his hussies? H husband? Yagami-kun, something you want to tell me? Uh, um, uh... Honey, let's hear it. Explain this to me right now, you jerk. Oh my god. <laughs> Should I signal to Mafuyu that I'm undercover? Or would Naoko catch on? She probably would. What should I say Mafuyu is to me? Oh, but all oh, these are all bad. These are all bad. The uh, this is the truth. But it will ruin our chances with Mafuyu. <laughs> She's my ex. Oh, I am. Wait, no, I uh. Oh, we never actually dated, so that's not the. But that uh huh. I'm so confused right now. What's going on? No, this lady is confused. <laughs> I'm confused. She's got the wrong guy. She's made a mistake. I'm not Yagami. Yeah, but Mafuyu, come on! Ma'am, can't you see we're in the middle of a meal here? Now would you please leave us be until later? Mafuyu, tell me you got that. I see. That's how you're gonna act, so be it. Oh, she didn't get it. <laughs> She's drunker than you! I want a divorce. What?! That woman from earlier. She's your side piece, isn't she? That's who you were seeing, right? I bet she's a new flight attendant. No, she's not! I'm going home! Wait a minute! I'll explain everything! Explain what? Um, uh... I need something to fix this. Anything. Mm -hmm. Huh? A gift, a gift, come on! This logo looks familiar. It's... Lamarche? It's a recent date and time. She mentioned seeing him shopping with a flight attendant, so it's possible that... Ah! Went shopping for you! My honey! I can prove I'm not having an affair, Naoko. <laughs> the cheat sheet, of course. Wait, showing her that right now wouldn't prove her husband isn't having an affair. I need something that'll prove Tatsuro-san has an alibi for when she thinks she saw him with a flight attendant. What was he actually doing with a flight attendant? I must have something that proves that. The bag? The cheat sheet? N no uh, the bag I guess. I'd like you to look at this. This proves I'm not in an affair, doesn't it? 
Mm. It does? I'm not so sure, Buster. Oh, maybe I've got that wrong. Wait, what? The cheat sheet? Why? The cheat sheet doesn't say the shopping thing on it. It doesn't. This looks like scratch paper, but it's actually a receipt. Oh! See the date? That's the day you saw me shopping with that girl. True. But what does that prove? Don't you see? Here's the store we shopped at. Yeah, it's a luxury store. You're spending our hard-earned money to get in her pants? Here. Happy birthday. Huh? huh? The truth is, I needed a lady's opinion on what kind of present to get you. I don't really know what the ladies are into these days, so... Really? I'm sorry. I wanted it to be a surprise. You got me a birthday present? Oh, honey. How many years has it been since you've done that? I don't know, actually. But I think it means our love is real. It's true, my love! You're the only one I've ever loved! And the only one I'll love until I die! Why are you coming out now? Look, the lady in the back is staring. Hey! Huh? Why do I suddenly have two husbands? Oh, crap. I think I'm... Oh, no. Oh, okay, good. She's passed out. Oh, Naoko! I think that might have been a bit too much to handle. That was for the best, okay? Tatsuro-san, thank you. Wow, she's fast asleep. Yagami-san! Yagami-san, thank you so much. You really went the extra mile for a complete stranger. It was... interesting. But I hope you'll talk it out more when she wakes up. Yeah, I plan on it. I've been putting my work above my marriage, and I see that now. But thanks to you, I think my wife's birthday turned into a great anniversary for us. What? Okay! <laughs> if you say so. Glad to hear it. I wish you and Naoko a long happiness, Tatsuro-san. Hi. Yes. Tonight I will make it up to her. You know. Thanks again. Oh crap. I forgot a mama for you. Now I'm the one in hot water. I better message her. Sorry about earlier, Mahuyu. I was undercover and I said some things I shouldn't have. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have known better. I hope I didn't mess anything up for you. Oh, well that was simple. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. A bit of a surprise to see Mahuyu here though. Ooh. All these women... What? Hiking? I just want to eat here. What's happening? Pretty? Oh, you're giving me a gift. A sacred tree. That's what it is. Mountain climbing. Well, thank you. I just want to eat, though. I already ate everything here before. That is fine. Oh. Kanai. Kim san's opponent. Okay. Alright. 